air signs welcome to your february crystal reading and channelings uh for gemini libras and aquarians i hope you guys are doing good so for those who are not used to these kind of videos that i do i've been doing them for about a year or oh, just over a year now i believe it's crazy how time goes anyway uh, i basically use the crystal wisdom healing oracle deck to see what crystals are recommended for you for the upcoming month and then i pull tarot cards to see why you really need those crystals and in the midst of that i do get a lot of channelings and messages typically okay um now i always read the descriptions of the crystals because we get new people all the time and also these are very 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 general <laughs> they are not going to be for everybody so it also gives you an idea if this is actually resonating with you or not and if you feel like you're resonating but you're not loving the look of the crystal or the crystal's just not vibing with you there are so many crystals that do the same thing. So definitely go ahead and research as to what other crystals will do the same kind of thing for you. Um, I always recommend buying your crystals in person. We all have a unique vibration, as do crystals. And it's just a better way to pick out your crystals to see what, what is really calling to you. And that usually leads to a better crystal choice. Okay. Also, if you do have this deck and you want the crystal, but you don't want to buy the crystal, <laughs> um, you can always use... <clears throat> Excuse me, you can always use the cards in lieu of the actual crystals, which is kind of cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started after I get water. Sorry, all right, needing some water. Mm. That's so crazy. Geminis are jumping at me. Um, usually I like, I like to feel how all the signs are before I pick, but Gemini, you're grabbing my attention very quickly, and I just heard forgotten. Gemini... I think you're I think in February you're feeling a little abandoned or rejected or forgotten about by someone or these could just be issues that are coming up for you or someone around you could be you know bringing it up to you like hey you forgot about me um Gemini's I won't I'm not gonna lie sometimes you guys can hear that from people um but I think that's why your energy called me because it's like hey I feel forgotten about pay attention to me it feels a little bit like that okay what crystals do my Gemini's need for the month of February? Hmm. You want you want someone to hear your side of the story? Is what also what I'm getting to, Gemini? You want someone to hear your side of the story? What crystals are good for my Gemini's for February? Uh, keep in mind, Gemini, uh, February we have Mercury retrograde energy. Pre-shadow starts on the 1st, it will be retrograding through Pisces, and then on the 16th, it actually goes full-on retrograde. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then it'll eventually um, retrograde through Aquarius and go direct in March, but that is your ruling planet. It's kind of crazy how fast Mercury retrograde is here, because, like, I swear the post-shadow ended in December. I swear it did. I swear it did. But maybe I'm just remembering. Anyway, that could just be affecting you right now. It could be making you want to speak out in a lot more aggressive kind of a manner because that's what it feels like it feels like you're wanting to speak out on something or just grab someone's attention because you don't feel hurt or you feel forgotten about or rejected or abandoned some of you feel shoved into a corner interesting some of you just feel like dismissed and shoved into a corner but crystals are good for my gemini's for the month of february well crystals are good for my gemini's for the month of february you're not letting go. Ooh. <laughs> we have Quantum Quattro. You're needing to really um, integrate a lot of energies here. Again, I'm getting this like powerful ooh, kind of energy. I think Leo actually had this too. Um, it's very much like I am here. I am present. Pay attention to me because I have something to say is also is what I get off that crystal. But that's what it is. It's like you're wanting a lot of energy to show up and to captivate. You might be presenting and maybe that's why you're like, working up your confidence, working up like your powerhouse energy, like being undeniable in whatever it is you have to say. Some of you might have bursts of frustration. Now we have appetites. God, two really beautiful crystals. Uh, what other crystals are good for my Geminis for the month of February? Oh, got the golden healer. Geminis, you're getting a lot of crystals. And we, I feel like we're going to get more, too. You guys might take the record for February for the amount of crystals. Uh, this is definitely an energy of, like, I have something to say because something needs to be addressed. I need to heal something. Something needs to be resolved. Something needs to be closed out. And I, my my side of the story has not cut, been been expressed, as, bleh, expressed yet. <laughs> expressed yet. What other crystals are good for my Geminis for the month of February? 
Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think anybody's ever gotten this amount of crystals as long as I've been doing these readings. You guys have six. Now we have pink granite. I'm going to have to read a lot. <laughs> Rhodozite. Uh, for some of you, this is... <coughs> Damn it. For some of you, this is taking place in your home environment. <clears throat> some of you actually need to move. Sorry, I'm getting that. Geminis, some of you need to straight up move. Wherever you're at, it's not working for you energetically. This could even be a work environment, but it feels more like home. It feels like where you lay your head down at night sort of energy. If, if you're dating someone and you're sleeping over at their place a lot, try to get them to sleep over at your place because there's something about the environment that some of you are in that you should not be in anymore. It's really affecting your energy. Um, oh, lapis lazuli. I like that. Okay, gems. I like that this came out because it's also indicating to me that what whatever you're speaking up against or about in the form of healing, and also for some of you, a definite move out of your environment, um, it's created blockages towards your abundance and towards your success. And once you do that, I think it's going to come in really quickly. Um, but it's definitely like, pay attention to me. I got something to say. I need to be heard now. Like now. Like not tomorrow. Not like an hour from now. Like now. Very commanding. Um, so let's go ahead and read all of six of these. <laughs> Jesus. Well, to give you guys a good variety to pick from, you know. Jesus. Yeah, no one's ever gotten six before. <clears throat> Quantum Quattro. Quantum Quattro has an amazing healing power and a dramatic effect on physical vitality. It brings about an energetic shift in integration. You are an extremely complex person who is seeking wholeness within yourself. Examine all facets of your personality, especially those you hide from yourself or others. Accept those of value. I just heard volcano. Interesting. Uh, you could just live by a volcano. I feel like you've repressed some shit, Gemini, and it's coming to a head. Some of you, it's stuff that you've repressed and like shoved down because you don't want to deal with it or deal with the, with the people that are triggering it. And it's about to like explode in someone's face. That's not for all of you. Okay. Find the gift hidden deep within mistakes. Forgive and let go. Release yourself from codependence and abusive relationships. Heal your inner child. Recognize the resources you have to draw on. Karmic aspects need healing. Your question is nowhere near as straightforward as it seems. So go so go dig deep and see all sides. The power of the whole is much greater than its component parts. Once you have all the information, you are invincible and evolve rapidly. Recognizing that you cannot heal anyone else or influence their behavior enhances your own well-being. The fre frequency of the stone is high. Great for all the chakras. Great for Taurians, Geminis, Virgos, Libras, Scorps, Sagis, and Cappies, and holistic healing for the soul. Oh, God, this was like a major confrontation, Gemini. <laughs> I think you're going to feel empowered afterwards. Just be mindful of how you go after someone. This, this feels a little borderline attacking, but I think that's just because some of you have repressed some shit. So for some of you, it is a little bit of an eruption. Okay. Appetite. Acceptance. Appetite works at the interference between consciousness and matter to let go of what is out, outworn in your life. Clear away confusion or guilt. Accept the truth about yourself. You are a complex being with credits and deficits. Recognize these without judgment. Move away from aloofness or so social alienation and show others who you truly are. Use your perspicacity. You have much to offer by way of service as you access insights for the collective good. Be inspired. Discern truth within. Recognize what is real in your world and restructure your reality. Don't be deceived by false fronts. See what is beneath. Develop your metaphysical perception. Things improve steadily. Understand that circumstances are merely learning opportunities. It is time to be of service to others. Teach what you know. It seems like some of you have been gritting your teeth through a situation. Sorry, just getting a download here. Um, some of you have been gritting your teeth through a situation, almost like trying to ride out the clock. Some of you is trying to ride out the clock. Others, it's like, it'll get better. I'll, I just, it'll get better. I'll just, I'll just restrain myself. It'll get better. It'll get better. It'll get better. And the truth of it is, you're not supposed to be there anymore. Sorry, that sounds really blunt with the way that just came out. Um, Sorry, did not mean for it to sound so blunt. It was just a direct download and I wanted to get it out. Anyway, your intuition knows what's best for you. The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for the third eye and the root and for Geminis. Straight up the Gemini stone. And discerning the truth within. Ooh. Some of you have been ignoring how much um, a person has sway over you. Sorry, I'm getting another download, Geminis. I get so many downloads with you guys. I just talk a lot with you. Uh always you and Virgo anyway um some of you have not realized or no you've been ignoring you, you innately deep down you know but you've been ignoring how much someone has sway over you 
or sway over your opinion or sway over your thoughts. And whether this person intended to manipulate you or not, because some of you, I don't think they intended to. I just think they're very opinionated. And Geminis, you're just very, you're just very receptive. You're like a sponge when it comes to like opinions, theories, thoughts, facts. You're just a sponge for that stuff. So sometimes you don't realize you're absorbing another person's opinion without discerning it from your own, right? Um, so I think some of you have fall, fallen prey to that. And with this like suppression of shit that's exploding, you're like, oh crap, that's why I've been agitated or that's why I have felt drained or exhausted or that's why I haven't felt right or good or frustrated or whatever. And it's all coming out. And in that moment, you're realizing, oh, that's why. Like this... <laughs> This person's been having sway over me this whole time and I've been ignoring it <clears throat> or allowing it to happen or I've just been trying to suppress my own shit just to keep things as they are. Take your pick, but I was definitely just getting that as a download. Okay. Golden Healer. Ultimate Healing. Golden healers are imbued with powerful transformative healing energies. They are a catalyst for profound spiritual activation. Understanding the quantum world helps you understand yourself. The everyday self is bounded by five senses expanded by a six, metaphysics. But this can be transcended to move into a field that is non-local, everywhere and nowhere at once, where there is no time. <clears throat> you create the event being observed. Allow your soul rather than your ego to be your guide. Recognize your potential to be an amazing healer. Your abilities needed honing. <laughs> Sorry, Jemmies. <clears throat> your abilities needed honing, and those who heal are soul scored to develop empathy. Much in your life needs transforming. Surrender willingly to the process. Someone clinging to the past holds you back. Encourage them to let go. You may be asked to transform your environment or take on a challenging task, so do so with grace and ease. Oh, that's interesting. The environment stuff came up. I was picking up on. Healing flows through you. It is a process, not something you do. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the soul star and the stellar gateway and great for channeling the Christ consciousness. Okay, let's get into pink granite. Hold on, I need water <laughs> for all the six stones. By the way, it was 12, 12 when I looked up at the, <clears throat> when I looked up at the camera. Ah. Mm. I just splashed myself in the face. <clears throat> okay. Pink granite, the lightning bolt. Pink granite has the highest uh, paramagnetic resonance of all stones and creates immense energy. You are an ancient Egyptian with the arcane knowledge that roll entails, but you originated in the stars. You understand cycles of birth, death, and rebirth, and immortality. You have been involved in ancient power struggles. Cut yourself loose. Become more grounded. Learning experiences occur regularly, and serendipitous synchronicities put you in exactly the right place at the right time. Be absurdive and make things happen. Events move with surprising speed once you focus your intention. See the whole picture before deciding. Be pragmatic, but don't give your power away. Maintain balance in a relationship. You need diplomacy and tact. Lightning can strike twice. If dealing with ancient strife, look at the bigger picture. Everything must pass away. Death precedes transformation and rebirth. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. It's great for all the chakras and for a lightning conductor for positive change. I'm glad that's there because with some of that like intense repression, agitation, I need to speak. I need to be heard. All of that. There's some warmth that, that definitely needs to happen here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> two more guys. Just two more. <clears throat> oh, sorry guys. Rotozite. Mighty power. Zingy Rotozite is excellent for removing blockages and for adding vit uh, vitality to the physical body. It cleanses, activates, and powers up all the chakras and harmonizes the etheric bodies. This crystal encourages the flow of kundalini energy to all the cells and the spaces between. Karmic imprints from your past lives or emotional wounds from earlier in your present life may be creating a state of psychosomatic dis-ease. Your own negative, wait, your own negative or compulsive thought patterns also play a part, as can those of other people directed towards you. The energy is picking up of being swayed by another. Check out the harmony or lack of it in your environment. Earth energies may be disrupting your well-being. The ground around your workplace and your home may need healing and stabilizing by planting suitable crystals in the earth. Living in a healthy, stable environment creates a stable physical body. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. Great for the solar plexus and for the earth star and for healing the earth. Okay, now let's do lapis and then we'll pull some tarot cards. <clears throat> Lapis Lazuli. 
Lapis Lazuli wards off calamities of all kinds and was one of the most auspicious stones in the ancient world. You are an immortal soul who has profound connection with the heavens. Your purpose is noble. You yearn for spiritual attunement but may be hampered by outmoded viewpoints. Take charge of your life. Looking into the past puts your present experience into perspective. You're a lineage breaker. Make the effort to trace family history for deeper insight. There is spiritual dis-ease here. Work with dreams and journey inward to find deeper insights. Flashes of intuition show the way. Open your heart and third eye. Help comes from on high. Enlightenment is within your grasp and enhanced perception shows what operates beneath. Study or research is needed here. Yours is the gift of true friendship. Protect yourself. Attuning to your divine nature enhances your well-being. The frequency of the stone is high. It's great for the throat, the third eye, the crown, for Sagis, which is actually your natural counterpart, just saying, and for divine reconnection. Okay. Gems, we got a lot going on here <laughs> in February. This is a lot. This is a lot. But either way, it's like, there's something about your energy that's just like screaming and shouting for, um, it's not attention. You're not, well, I guess in a way it's attention grabbing, but not in the way that that sounds. It's like, you're screaming to be heard. You're screaming for resolution. Your, your, your energy is screaming. Your energy is screaming. Um, some of you feel like you have a lot of pressure on you. You're just feeling, sorry, they're talking to me. It's like you're, you've been feeling pressurized and it's almost like you're coming out in this powerhouse kind of a way to be heard because it's just, it's just what's needed. It's like when you're under pressure for so long, you can only take that for oh so long before you're just like, blah, right? Like <laughs> that's the kind of moment you're having here, Gemini's, but it feels positive. It feels really positive. Okay. And some of this may result in a move or change in a workplace or a work environment. And either way, I do feel like you're coming to uh, you're going to come into some kind of abundance or success or stability at the end of the day by doing this. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do radiant wise. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why do my Gemini's need these crystals? Why do my Geminis need these crystals for February? I just keep hearing the word challenge. Please don't tell me you're going to get in someone's face, Gemini. Why do my uh, Geminis need these crystals for the month of February? I keep hearing March. I keep hearing March. All of this might lead to like some kind of uh, finality or resolution in March. Why do my Gemini's need these crystals for the month of February? All of a sudden the cards got super stubborn. Give me it with an with a Aries. I just realized with March. <clears throat> Let's see here. Ooh. We have Nine of Cups, Piscean Energy with the Emperor in Reverse, which is Mars. So Ari, uh, could be Aries Scorpio. For me as a reader, it's Taurus, Divine Masculine Energy. And then we have the Nine of Cups in Reverse, Piscean Energy. Could also be Water or Fire. Why does it's... <coughs> this feels like a very smug energy. <coughs> like a smug father figure. Hold on. Mm. <coughs> Oh my God, I feel so much restraint here. Um, Gemini's, I feel like this is someone that you need to stand up to um, or that you need to like say something to. I, this is very smug. Oh my God, I, I'm like getting a lot of repressed energy um, in relation to this person. It's like when you're around this person, I think you feel really repressed or that when it comes to this person, that there's a lot you can't say or there's a lot you can't do. Like you feel really restricted when it comes to this energy. They don't have to be a father figure. Emperor just can symbolize that explicitly. Like a fatherly figure, patriarchal figure, a boss even. This could be a boss at work here. This is someone who's very, very pleased with themselves. Very, very pleased with themselves. Um, <clears throat> it could also just be someone who likes to control situations and likes to manipulate. This card alone can be an emotional manipulator, as can the Emperor. So combined together and with the Nine of Cups, this is someone who's very happy in their own right and in their own way. And they're happy being like this. You understand what I'm saying? 
I really feel like that's someone that like you have to deal with or stand up to or resolve issues around. <clears throat> Male or female, any age, it doesn't matter. Especially the, with the fact we have Emperor and the Knight, this can definitely be someone anywhere from like teenage years to like 50 something, you know, or older. There's actually, they actually told me or older. So some of you, this is someone who's even older than that, okay? Why else do my Geminis need these crystals? Oh, God. Of course the devil would come out. Why else do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of February? Why else do my Geminis need these crystals for the month of February? Okay, let's see what we got here. Wow. Oh, this is interesting. Geminis, I feel like this is your energy. We have the King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. You could be female, doesn't matter. It's just representing your energy. A uh, very Taurian energy here with the Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini with the Devil. This is like, this is total repression. Okay. This is men mental oppression, uh, mental torture, obsessive thinking, obsessive thoughts, but it's anguish. I'm getting, I'm actually hearing anguish. Okay. But with the King of Pentacles, there's something noble about your energy here, Gemini. Like you have really good intentions. Whatever, I almost feel like there's a clashing between this energy and this energy. Again, gender doesn't matter. This is definitely you, and this is definitely someone that you need to, like, stand up to. You feel oppressed by this person. They do control you. They they are manipulative, whether they intend to be or not. They're very smug. They're very happy with themselves. And this is definitely, like, you can't stop thinking about the shit you want to do or say. But there's something about nobility and good intentions behind your energy. King of Pentacles is also someone who likes to build. The King of Pentacles always brings the ten. Always brings the ten of Pentacles here. But this person, your energy, is very very oppressed when it comes to this individual okay you could be in a relationship with this person this could just be a family member or a working relationship then we have the two of pentacles capricorn energy this is my limbo card it's also my weighing options card like what do i do what do i do what do i do now i'm feeling that like ex escalation here you can't maintain this state of being for very long this is not sustainable um, Geminis, keep in mind, I am reading energy, so this could also be someone within your environment, and this could be the person that they're dealing with, okay? This could all be something you are witnessing, especially if this is a family dynamic and it's going on in your household, you know? So just, again, take everything as it resonates. But this is, like, this is limbo. I'm going to stay here because I don't know what else to do. Maybe I can ride this out. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do that. But it's as this, this energy is persisting, along with this energy, it's just a, it's just a time bomb, it's just a time bomb. Overall, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, Virgo, I just heard Capricorn really, really loud. So you know the Capricorn, you can have that in your chart. Interesting. Um, Ten of Pentacles is the overall energy. So again, this could be going on at work. This could be going on at home. This could be going on within your family. And what did I say? The King of Pentacles always, always leads to the Ten. They always bring the Ten. Some of you may want to achieve this. I mean, I'm almost hearing like in your, your, like on your own, on your own, you want this, but there's something about this person's energy who's very smug where it's like they, they keep you restrained from that. Some of you didn't realize, are not going to realize the extent of how they keep you from this. The, the Ten of Pentacles that you want on your own, you're not going to, some of you might not realize the extent of it until you have this explosion with them. Because I feel an explosion coming. It's coming. Okay. <laughs> There's a big fat tower coming, Gemini. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, I don't like that word. I literally just heard slave. Some of you guys have been doing favors for somebody and it's like you are quite literally slaved to them. But you never saw it that way. And I think that perspective of yours is about to change. Because I feel like in your energy, Gemini, you really want for more for yourself. But there's something about this person that keeps you from that. Again, very smug energy over there. But again, the longer you persist in this energy, it's 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 inevitable. There's uh, There's got to be some kind of resolution or breakaway from, from this energy and to not be chained up to this person anymore or this situation anymore. Okay? But remember, overall, you do got that 10. It's very possible, but you got to deal with this person. Oh, wow. See, I just noticed that underneath we have the Wheel of Fortune in a verse. Jupiter energy. This is like the 10 of Pentacles you want for yourself, my King of Pentacles, my Geminis. That is at a total standstill until you deal with this because this is an, an oppressive energy that's controlling the situation and controlling you. And you didn't realize to what extent until 
February, <laughs> okay? <laughs> or until you come to some kind of consensus or resolution with them, okay? Oh my God, Gemini's, okay. Oh my God, almost 30 minutes, are you kidding me? Gemini's, you would, <laughs> you would. Oh, wow, that one drained me quite a bit, quite a bit. Let me just make space here and get some more water. I'm about to put my hair up because it's making me crazy, especially this little curl right there. <laughs> mm. Okay. <sighs> wow. I almost made my head hot. Okay. Aquas or Libras? <clears throat> Aquas or Libras for February? <clears throat> Aquas or Libras for February. Aquas, you're shining. I, that's literally what I wanted to say for you guys with your energy. You're shining. Sorry, Libras. Not not to say they're outshining you, but that is kind of like what I was feeling. Uh, all right, Aquas. Let's go. Let's go. I like your energy. It feels really good. It feels good. It feels happy. It feels lighthearted. Um, oh, but duh. I'm sorry. Happy birthday, Aqua. <laughs> 20 February aquas out there. Oh, and January, because I'm filming this in January. And yes, the aqua birthday reading is coming. It's coming. I can only do one video at a time. <laughs> okay. But yeah, aquas, like quite literally, I just have such a bright and shiny like energy off of you. You could be captivating a lot of people right now. We're getting a lot of attention. You're just, I feel a glowing with you. It's really nice. It's really nice. And that can happen when it's your season. What crystals are best for my aquas for the month of February? Is that aquamarine or is that like, they're showing me like a really light blue crystal. Like it, it kind of looks like this, which is aquamarine, but I have a feeling it's not. Um, It might just be like a different kind of, uh, like it might be like blue lace agate or it could be like a different appetite or agate even uh, other than blue lace. There's all kinds of like, there are all kinds of crystals with this color. Um, but that's what they're showing me. What crystals are best for my aquas for February? Yeah, I feel a lot of eyes on you, Aqua. I feel like you're getting a lot of attention. It is your birthday. What crystals are best for my aquas? See what we have here. Oh, you might be in some sexy attention. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so silly today. Carnelian with Nirvana Quartz. So Carnelian is a really interesting stone. It does a lot of different things, but I do feel some sexy energy off of that. I do feel like a lot of people are going to be flirting with you. You might be feeling extra flirty because it is your birthday season or your season. Um, but I just can't get off of that. It's like a very, so all of a sudden I'm really itchy. It's like a lusty, lusty attention energy you're just feeling good you're just feeling yourself you're just feeling yourself uh carnelian's also very protective though it is also very protective so just be mindful when we shine we attract everything the good the bad and the ugly right so just be mindful of that you might be attracting some characters that you want nothing to do with what other crystals do my aquas need for the month of february i feel an ascension energy too Ooh. Uh oh, aqua. A joint. This is such a beautiful crystal. A joint. Um, it's interesting because I was just picking up on an ascension like energy with, with some of you, which again, not surprising given the energy given the energy of February. We have a lot of Piscean energy at play along with Aqua and also along with Capricorn. Um and then we got that full moon in Leo. There's going to be a lot more higher consciousness focus in February still, okay? Lots of downloads, especially when that new moon Pisces hits. It's going to be crazy. Um, anyway, I know I'm talking a lot. Um, and as you guys ascend even further, no matter where you are, there's always an emotional component with that too. You know, there's always like some kind of like milestone or tit for tat with that. Like you do, you do some self-exploration, um, you do some emotional purging, you do some emotional healing, and then you ascend, and then you do some more, and then you ascend, right? It's like, it just goes hand in hand. Um, there's a need to, while you're enjoying your time and enjoying your lusty energy and really feeling yourself and all of this, there is a need to kind of keep shedding, 
okay? And I feel like it's a very constant energy with you in the month of February. So like as you're going and enjoying life, feeling yourself, feeling good, feeling confident, creating, getting shit done, being in the limelight, loving it, and you're ascending, you're also needing to constantly shed emotion, emotional stuff. There's also a need to be more compassionate. Sorry. <laughs> it is just what I'm getting. Um, when, when I get a lot of downloads like this, I'm just getting healed with a lot of energy. So that's also why my energy is really amped up right now. Okay. So for those who are not used to me being like this or who are new. Uh, yeah, there's also a need to be a little bit more compassionate here to find your sensitivity a little bit more with people. Um, I think you're not going to realize how much people want to invest in you emotionally. And you're just going to kind of run with it because it's fun and you're enjoying yourself. And you're not going to realize maybe how quickly some people might be emotionally attaching to you or just giving you a lot of themselves okay so there's a need to be compassionate there okay let's keep going what other crystals are good for my aquas for february what other crystals are good for my aquas for february some of you guys might be hiking a lot in february i feel a need for you guys to actually be up top a lot which makes sense because you're an air sign um Hiking, I think, would be very beneficial for some of you just to be able to get up top and feel, sorry, excuse me, just a lot of open space around you. You can even just go into open fields, but there's something about climbing. Oh, ascension. <laughs> but there's something about hiking and climbing. What other crystals will be good for my aquas for February? What other crystals will be good for my aquas for February? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Eye of the Storm just came out. You guys got a lot of crystals, actually. So Eye of the Storm. So there's a lot going on for you, Aqua, during your birthday season. I don't feel like this is negative. Usually when this comes out, it means there's a lot of awful shit going on. I don't feel that at all. I just feel like a lot of busy energy, a lot of just energy swirling around you because you are enjoying yourself, you are feeling yourself, and you're sending, and you're creating, and you're just like, and you're just doing your shit, right? To the point where you're not even cognizant of the emotions of other people right now because you're so focused on you. There's just a lot that you're doing and you're involved in a lot of things. You're very busy. So just be mindful of that, that like it's okay to take time to ground yourself and to get through the chaos, right, in that way. But also to stay compassionate and emotionally present, okay? All right, so let's read these off. We'll do carnelian. We'll just do it in order. Carnelian. Carnelian protects against glamours, spells, envy, and the evil eye, bringing good fortune to the wearer. It prevents blood from rushing to the head to cause precipitate action. You have the ability to remain calm during disputes and the self-control not to follow the crowd. Courage in the face of danger comes from inner strength, not foolhardiness. Your family means a lot to you. Your sex drive is strong. Lust or aggression has been a problem in a past life. Direct it toward creativity and raising kundalini. Be eloquent, creative, and bold. Do not back down. Trust your intuitive perceptions. Distinction in your career lies ahead. Be a mentor. Alleviate stress. Take time to play. You are a tower of strength during sorrow. Stay anchored in the present. Let go of emotional ties or outdated projects holding you back. And be aware of a charismatic person. Sufficient vitamins and mineral minerals support your metabolism for uh, optimum well-being. I promise I can speak. The frequency of the stones earthy to high, depending on the clarity. It's great for the root and the sacral. Great for Taurians, Cancers, Leos, Virgos, and Scorpios, and expressing soul vitality. Okay, so pretty much the gist of like what I had already described. Let's see. Nirvana Quartz. Nirvana Quartz assists in stepping off the karmic wheel, bringing light and bliss consciousness. For many lifetimes, you've been working with your karma that has now passed. Uh, there is no need for restitution or punishment or guilt. Let those go so that you can recognize your full potential, receiving a download of cosmic light that transforms your being. Step off the karmic wheel. Sorry, these cards have a hard time focusing. There we go. Step off the karmic wheel and allow the karma of grace to manifest. Open yourself to receive enlightenment. Recognize this as a new beginning and fresh energy. If you're experiencing traumatic times and soul challenges, relax and wait for resolution. Do not push against the river. Go with the flow. Karma is created in each moment by every thought and deed. Uplifting thoughts and positive actions ensure your future well-being. The frequency of the stones is exceptionally high. It's great for the crown, Pisceans, and embodying enlightenment on earth. So if you're a cusper... Just saying. All right. Adjoit. Adjoit brings about a profound spiritual revelation. 
drawing out karmic wounds as crystal reframes cellular memory and past contracts. You are a being of infinite love and compassion. Find your core of ultimate peace and universal love. Release your toxic emotions. Replace them with forgiveness, compassion, and serenity. What you have been through allows you to appreciate the pain of another's past path. Interesting. I wanted to say past, and I swore I saw that, but it's path. So that might be at play for some of you guys in February. To not like, you know, for where someone has been, to like just accept them for that, right? Do not absorb their pain. Remain dispassionate. Uh, detach gracefully and move on. Uh, put down your burdens knowing you are being of light. Resolve conflicts and forgive those who wounded you. Give someone a second chance. Honor your promises. Find the best solution for everyone. Let your dispassionate compassion <laughs> encompass all. Charity or volunteer work is indicated. Immersing yourself in the love of the divine automatically leads to healthy health and happiness. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for the third eye, the crown, the heart, the throat, and the soul star. Chakras, uh, great for Virgos and Aquas. Aquas, and for keeping an open, compassionate heart. All right, now I have the storm. My crown is like getting blasted right now. Okay. I have the storm. I have the storm is a safe haven for your soul, a calm center no matter what upheaval upheavals may occur, a life support system during stressful times or serious illness. Hold on to it during challenges that you keep things in perspective. You may be allowing the challenges and traumas of life to push you off center. Stress and pressure are a major cause of your dis-ease. You could be focusing too closely on one aspect of life to the detriment of others. Look at the wider picture. Ooh, itchy nose. Sorry. Time to relax and let go of your stress. Stay mindful rather than watchful. Excess adrenaline adversely affects your immune system. Switch on the positive potential in your cell walls. Meditate quietly to rejuvenate your DNA. You can stay centered and calm no matter what the storm rages around you. The frequency of the stone's earthy and high. It's great for all the chakras and walking safely through the storm. Or as I said for you guys, it just seems like the chaos of your busy, fun, full lives. Okay? <laughs> You're just going to be busy. You're just going to be busy, aquas. All right, so let's get some cards out here and see why you need these crystals. Hmm. Yeah, let's do crystal deck. I did just hear, hear but then I did just hear whirlwind. Why was that so hard to open my mouth to say? Lord. Um I just think you got a lot going on. You just might realize that, not that it's too much, because I think you can handle it. I just don't think you initially realized how much you're taking on going into February, and then you're just going to have to deal with it, and it's like, oh, crap, this is a lot. I think you're also going to have a lot of opportunities come online. Well, you know, that's a weird way to say that. You're going to have a lot of opportunities um, appear, okay? Why do my aquas need these crystals for February? Why do my aquas need these crystals for February? Why am I seeing monkeys? <laughs> I'm literally seeing monkeys. Why am I seeing monkeys? Um, that could be your, your totem. Um, I'm literally just seeing monkeys, like, in trees. Uh, monkeys are also known for, like, fun. For fun and vitality and all of that. And like I said, I think you're having a lot of fun in February. Just make sure you maintain some balance there with, like, play and work, right? Uh, tell me why my aquas need these crystals for February. Why do my aquas need these crystals for February? So you might be having more fun with your children too in February. Why do my aquas need these crystals for February? Ooh. Seven of Wands. Look, <laughs> why do I feel like that's just you on top looking down at people? <laughs> Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way at all. Like I said, I feel like there's something that's very radiant about your energy. Like you're glowing or just shining. Leo energy. I just feel like it's hard to not notice you in February. And some people might be triggered by the fact that you're just so glowing. Okay. And you might feel the need to like react to their triggering. So just be mindful of that. You're just very confident. You're just very confident, Aqua. But some of you guys might feel a little attacked. Some of you might feel a little attacked just because you're shining so bright and people just can't handle it. 
Why else do my aquas need these crystals for February? Why else do my aquas need these crystals for February? Oh, whoa, that's way too many. Why else do my aquas need these crystals for February? Ah, what did I say? Look at you. On the go, on the move. Chariot, Cancerian energy. Aqua, you are going. Some of you guys might be traveling or actually moving. Yeah, honestly, I feel like this is not to, <clears throat> not to like have a pun here with these cards, but like you're kind of on your high horse, but not in a bad way. It feels very justified. It just seems like you're enjoying yourself. You're doing a lot and you're being noticed for it. And for some of you, you're having a lot of success because of it. And I feel like there are people who are not happy for you. Just, you know, being honest here. Um, but you're on the go, you're on the move. And with that cherry energy, sometimes I can, um, tell me that you are on a path of, um, ascension, whether it's just ascending at work, like promotions or upgrading your life or an actual spiritual ascension. It can just indicate that for me because it is progressive moving upward energy, right? Let's see what else we got here. Someone's, oh God, there's there's one masculine energy that all of a sudden came came through, which is weird because I'm surprised I didn't pick up on them sooner. Um, it's almost like an energy in a crowd of people and like finally they just broke through. Like that's kind of how it feels. <clears throat> this person, I think you and this person have some kind of close connection. When I say masculine energy, I'm talking about energy, not gender. It can be a female, okay? Um, but they're taking on masculine energy and it's like, that's exactly how it just felt like, I couldn't notice them in the crowd of people who were like, who were eyeing you until they finally just like elbowed through. They're not, they're not really happy about what you're doing. They're not happy about what you're doing. And it seems to be that there's a rift happening and they're, they're kind of angry about it. Why else do my aquas need these crystals for the month of February? Okay, spirit, way too many. Half the deck just came out. Why else do my aquas need these crystals for February? Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy with the Six of Cups, Scorpionic energy, Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy, and then we have, yeah, Three of Pentacles in reverse, Cappy energy. You are living your best life, Aqua. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. You are living your best life, and you're not doing it with that person or other people some people might consider you to be a little bit too rebellious but you're aqua that's like your that's like your badge right to be a little rebellious here um that ten of pentacles six of cups you're just super content you're super stable you're super content wheel of fortune is turning in your favor uh you're being blessed at this time quite literally um this could also indicate a move with the chair and the ten of pentacles not sure if i mentioned that but with the three of pentacles in a verse like i said you're not dealing with someone though you have all of this while you're leaving someone behind, um, other people feel like like they're not welcome to the party is also what I'm getting. So maybe there's also a change in career that's facilitating this. Okay, I really feel more that's like in the realm of promotion or getting a better job or a better financial situation. But definitely there's this energy around you where people are looking at you like, I want in on the aqua party. How come they're not letting me in on the aqua party? But there's this one masculine energy that's really being highlighted. Like they really feel left behind and they're not happy about it. Okay, let's keep going. Why else do my aquas need these crystals for February? Why else do my aquas need these crystals for February? Oh, and there it is. There it is. Why else do my aquas need these crystals? Yeah. Lovers in reverse. Yep. Mm -hmm. Gem Gemini energy. Um, you're leaving behind connections. It's simple as that. I also feel that you're not very warm to this. Like, you're not very emotionally receptive. I'll say it that way. To whatever this, uh, this connection. I feel like for some of you it's multiple even. Some of you, this is multiple, like not just one uh, deep connection or spiritual connection. There are a lot of different kinds of spiritual connections we can have with people. There's a spectrum of energy there, right? Um, so this can indicate soulmate. This can indicate more than a soulmate. Um, just depends on what boat you're in. But for some of you, it's multiple. And that's because it, for some, it's requiring a move. 
okay? But it's the road to success. With, oh my God, without a doubt, look at this. That is the road to success, okay? Um, and you're enjoying it. You're enjoying it and you're not apologetic about it. And I don't think you should be. I don't think you should be, but there definitely seems to be a major emotional close off to whoever or whomever um, is represented by this card in your life. And I, I think Spirit's just saying like, to be compassionate, but it doesn't mean you have to like let them back in your life or let them eat the fruits of your labor, just to be compassionate and not totally like cold and detached from it, right? Overall, we do have the Emperor in reverse. Yeah. Uh, Mars energy. Uh, so Aries, Scorpio could also be Taurus for me as a reader, but I think this is the other person's energy, not yours. I think that you are in a very great energy, very posy, very warm, very fun, very lighthearted, very happy. This person's not, okay? Uh, <laughs> this person's not very happy. Um, they feel kind of powerless. They feel like they don't have control. They feel very powerless. Yeah, I feel I feel anger. I feel anger and resentment from this person towards you. Aqua, again, probably another reason why Carnelian came out, just to protect you from feeling that energy. Um, it's that yeah, that's just what I keep getting. Like you're leaving them behind. You're leaving them behind. But honestly, Aqua, enjoy the fruits of your labor. It's okay to be blessed and it's okay to enjoy it, and it's okay to not be so apologetic about it. Right? <laughs> right? So enjoy enjoy it all right aquas that was like that was that was an interesting one that was an interesting one so libras last but not least let's get into libra uh where's my water okay <clears throat> okay libra why do you feel quiet What's going on, Libra? You feel a little too quiet. Um, you're really quiet. Uh, sometimes Libra... Oh, damn it! <laughs> it made a second video. Usually I'm really good at catching that. You're really quiet, Libra. Usually when Libras get really quiet, it's because they're really hurt. Like, Libras, you can have that kind of aggressive reaction. You know, you're kind of known for that. But if someone really hurts you... You, you just, you kind of with, withdraw, like you kind of retreat. I just saw the pomegranate. Pomegranate uh, indicates wisdom, <clears throat> specifically like hidden wisdom, esoteric wisdom. I feel like you're coming to knowledge about something and it, it's making you very emotional. It's making you very emotional. I, you're having a little rough time accepting it, whatever this knowledge is, but it's important that you do. So you're doing it, you're accepting it. But I feel it, it's very emotional for you. Uh, what crystals are good for my Libras for February? What crystals are good for my Libras for February? I just felt a pull of energy from my heart down to my solar, almost like my heart was getting like pulled down to my stomach. I think you might be getting, some of you might be getting some news that's like makes your stomach drop or has it like effect. Like, you know that like that weird drop where like right before you're about to cry really hard? Like that's kind of what I just felt. What crystals are best for my Libras for the month of February? What crystals are best for my Libras for the month of February? This could be something you're coming out of, but it feels really, really prominent. <clears throat> what crystals are best for my Libras for February? What crystals are best for my Libras for February? And there it is. Wow. Rhodocosite. A couple other signs had this. I'm trying to remember which ones. Um, I think Virgo had this. Damn it, there was another one. I think it was a water sign, but I can't really remember. But anyway, Libra, this this is a heart healing card. This is a card, heart healing stone. Um, relating to trauma and just honestly, a just emotional pain and heartbreak that we're feeling to kind of help just restore 
and bring emotions back to an equilibrium. Oh, fuck, Libra. Oh my God. What other crystals are good for my Libras for February? Oh crap, really? Golden Healer. So this is a repeat. So when we get repeating, repeating, repeating uh, stones within the same video, I always, I don't read the, I don't go over the description again. I just basically tell you where, which timestamp to go to. Uh, Gemini. Oh shit, now I can't remember. No, it was Gemini. It was Gemini. <laughs> So Gemini also had this. So if you want to listen to the description of this one, and if you just went to Libra and you skipped over Gemini, go ahead and look back at Gemini for the description of this if you want it. I just won't be rereading it because these descriptions are a little lengthy. But yeah, honestly, Libs, it's okay. Um, whatever knowledge you're coming into, whether it's through visions or downloads, um, or it's just knowledge that's been hidden from you, whatever it is. I feel like it is relating to your spiritual process, though. Um, I feel like it's going to allow for some major heart healing to, to, to take place. Some that's needed. Some of you might be coming into knowledge that you've repressed from yourself around trauma. If I'm being totally honest, I am picking up on that. Like, something you, some of you, this is going to be stuff that you repressed from your childhood. That's coming up, and it might be... Um, it might take you by surprise, okay? You repressed it for a reason, right? Um... Some of this is relating to family secrets as well. Either way, as it comes up, you're going to deal with it. And I feel like that's going to really help you on your spiritual path. Uh, it's going to help. It's just going to help you be. Um, oh, God, sorry. I'm, I'm getting so whew, drawn into the emotion of it. Um, it's going to make you stronger. OK, it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you stronger. But I do feel it's going to help your spiritual process. All right, let's see what other crystals want to come out. What other crystals are good for my Libras for February? What other crystals are good for my Libras for February? I'm getting something about a head injury. Um, what is this? Sorry, I got really distracted. A lavender ar aragonite. <laughs> lavender aragonite just came out. Um, I'm getting something about a head injury. You might find out you had a head injury as a kid. This is interesting. Someone's finding out about a head injury um, or more details about a head injury they already knew about, but there's like some hidden knowledge about some kind of head injury and it's actually affected you. Um, and you didn't realize it. This is weird. So even if you already knew about it, you might've just like, yeah, I hit my head as a kid or something happened to my head as a kid, whatever you were fine. Or you thought you were, um, others you are finding out that some, you were in some kind of accident or something happened to you and it was a head injury. Why do I feel like this is abuse? Um, I gotta be honest, this feels a little bit like there was a situation with child neglect or child abuse and someone suffered a head injury as a child, like a young child. Like this is like under six, under six or under seven. And if it, it's a, I just got a flash, but it's definitely a boy, it's a man. It's a man, who's now a man, thank you. <laughs> Who is now a man, was a boy when this happened, Caucasian. I just got a quick like glimpse, like well, glimpse of like the back of the head. Um, at the time, the hair was like there was like no hair, so I couldn't really see uh, what color hair they have. But it's definitely Caucasian. Yeah, there was some kind of head injury around, and I feel like it's child neglect or child abuse. That's a crazy ass channeling for someone. Wow. And you either didn't know this happened to you as a man who's watching, or it could be that you know of this person. It was either just kept a secret. Or all the information about it wasn't told. Lord have mercy. Okay. Okay. Let's read these off. Libra. Rhodochrosite. Rhodochrosite teaches the heart to assimilate painful feelings without shutting down. Uh, dis <clears throat> dissolving denial and identifying ongoing detrimental patterns. It offers compassionate love and forgiveness. You face the truth with loving awareness. Deep down, you feel alienated, unloved, or unappreciated. A history of sexual or emotional abuse creates disease, or you may have misused or feared your sexual power in the past. You may be repressing something you do not want to face. Irrational fears and paranoia and unacceptable emotions need to be acknowledged and transformed. 
Time for a change of viewpoint. Begin to seek the gifts in your experiences rather than seeing the negative effects. Check out whether what you were taught in childhood is still relevant to the person you are today. Releasing resentment from your heart creates well-being. The frequency of the stone is high. Great for the heart, the solar plexus, the root, and the sacral, and for radiating unconditional love and selfless compassion. So your other stone, <clears throat> Libra, golden healer. I won't repeat this one. Like I said, go and watch Gemini if you just click the timestamp if you want to understand the description of this stone. Oh, my throat's getting tight. Okay, lavender. Where did it go? Argonite. Lavender Argonite heals your personal environment and Earth's meridian grid and raises the vibrations of the planet. Become comfortable in your own body and environment. You incarnated to be a guardian for the planet. You are a vehicle for purifying and healing the Earth, reminding others that it is a sacred living being to be treated with respect. Pay attention to where you live within yourself. Do your inner housekeeping and nurture yourself. Become a vehicle for the healing of the environment by opening yourself to higher vibrational energies. Do not participate in anything that despoils the planet or diminishes its resources. Work with your power animal and nourish your inner being. Take no risks and avoid excesses. Ex excesses. Excesses. <laughs> if your environment is unhealthy and disharmonious, it cannot support well-being. Transform it and well-being returns. Frequency of the stone is high. And it aligns the Earth Star, the Root, the Third Eye, the Soul Star, and the Stellar Gateway. Great for Taurians, Virgos, Cappies, and Aquas, and healing the environment. Oh, wow. Okay. Sorry, like, that, that last channeling was just so heavy. It's still with me. It's still with me a little bit. Definitely. Um, some of you might be finding out information about someone that you live with. Uh, it does feel spousal. Unfortunately, it does feel spousal, and I think that there might end up in some kind of separation here, okay? Um, God, a lot of, like, not so, like, awesome news today. Sorry, guys. I'm just the messenger. Sorry. But some of these messages messages just clearly have to be heard, if I can speak. Okay. Let me make sure I get all the cards here. Yep. <clears throat> Using Cosmic Tarot for this one. Why do Libras need these crystals? For the month of February. Why do my Libras need these? God, Libra, it's so weird. It almost feels like you're not even going to be very present in February, if I'm being totally honest. That's how it feels. Like, you know, like Aqua was like shining. It's like your light feels so dimmed. It feels very dimmed. And I think it's, you just got to deal with the stuff, right? You just got to deal with the stuff. Libras need these crystals for the month of February. Why do my Libras need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Libras need these crystals for the month of February? Why do my Libras need these crystals for the month of February? Why am I picking up on all these accidents? I just, I don't like seeing that stuff. My guides know that. So, sorry, I'm going to hold on to that. So we have the moon, Piscean energy, also Cancerian. For me as a reader, you could have a Libra moon placement, but not necessarily. Um, casting shadows. I just heard casting shadows. So I just want to talk about the accident I saw right before this. Saw a really bad ugh, dog attack. I don't know another way to say that. Um. Sorry, I'm like, it was so graphic, I just didn't want to look at it. Uh, I feel like this has actually already happened. I don't feel like it's going to happen. I feel like it's already happened. It could be a history with a dog. Um, it's definitely history. Okay, it's attached to the dog. This is weird. Um, I saw a dog just jump and like, sorry. I know, where are my words? You, you know what I'm trying to say. For some reason, I'm having a hard time saying it. I think just because it was like so quick and so graphic. I couldn't see the kind of breed. It was like a dark chocolate stocky stocky kind of a dog um I couldn't tell how big it was because all I saw was like because I saw the dog from behind so it's like I just saw like the I guess it would be the dog's shoulders and the head like right about a woman's face a woman's face oh, Lordy. it's a history with a dog that needs to be addressed or considered I think that's the only reason I saw it. it's something that's already happened <sighs> stop showing me graphic shit anyway <laughs> so we have the moon here and I just heard casting shadows 
something's been kept Libra something's been kept in the dark and it's about time that it comes to light it, it's got to come out it's got to come out it's got to be addressed whether it's just something you repressed within yourself or it's a family secret I feel like the reason this has been hidden away it's like it's almost like someone's worried about like the like the long-term presence that this news information will carry or like or how it will impact someone long term it, like that's what I was just getting with casting shadows where it's like the big bad dark thing right that just like will forever follow somebody but it doesn't nothing has to be like that right that's someone's perspective that's someone's point of view in this situation it doesn't have to be like that right you just you deal with your shit and then you 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 know life goes on it doesn't have to be that way unless you allow it to be that way let's keep going why else do my libras need these crystals for february why else do my libras need these crystals for february my face just got really hot are my cheeks red almost why else do my Libras need these crystals? Oh, I just heard selfish. Ace of Cups in reverse. Selfish. For some, someone's hiding the fact that they don't love somebody. It's definitely for some of you. Um, I'm just getting selfish. I feel like there was a really selfish act or someone acted way out of their ego and it was like, it was something really terrible and it's just been hidden away. It's just been hidden away. Others, it's just a secret of like not loving someone or not having love for a situation. Sorry, I said that's so callous. Just in relation to the other stuff I was feeling, I'm like, that's kind of minor, right? <laughs> I'm like, uh. Yeah, I just keep getting selfish. Selfish and ego. But it seemed like it was a big act. Like the intention behind it was small, but it, it like the consequences were big. The consequences were severe. Why else do my Libras need these crystals in the month of February? Libra, I'm so sorry for the heavy ass reading. But again, clearly someone has to like, you know, this has to be said. Oh, wow. Cards are flying now. Okay. Ooh. Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Five of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy, and then we have, God, Emperor's just showing up for everybody today. Emperor in reverse, uh, Mars energy, so Aries, Scorpio, could also be Taurus for me as a reader. Nine of Wands, Sag energy. This person's incredibly wounded, whoever this is. Whether it's you, Libra, or someone you know, or about, like, the secret that might be coming out, this person's incredibly wounded, incredibly defensive, scared. Ooh. This person was in a constant state of fear. It doesn't look like fear, but that's what it is. It could come off as anger. It could come off as controlling. It could come off as possessive, narcissistic. They have a constant state of fear and anxiety. And it makes them act like that. It makes them act like that. With Ace of Pentacles in reverse and Five of Cups in reverse, it's like, this is a weird energy. This is a very weird energy. I was actually getting loss of money with this. I was getting loss of money. For some, there's a family issue where someone spends way more than the family realizes and they might find out the hard way and that might be how a secret is coming out. Not for everybody. Um, also getting something about depression. For some, depression's causing someone to miss out on a lot of opportunities. I feel like the depression's about to get worse. It might lead to some conversations where some stuff is revealed. For sure. But I keep getting lots of money. I keep getting lots of money there. I might clarify that because there's more going on there. Overall energy, we do have the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. And then we have the Fool. Aries energy can also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. This is an energy of wanting like a restart, a reset, wanting to break away, wanting the new. Libra, you might have to take a risk in getting away from an environment or a person or people with whatever's coming out here. Um, there's also a situation... So I'm being drawn back. Sorry, I know so many messages. I'm also being drawn back to that like hiding feelings of like not being in love anymore. But almost like being afraid to leave. Yeah, there's like an energy of like being afraid to leave, but knowing that that has to be done. Knowing that has to be done, especially if there's no love there anymore. There's no stability either. Someone is just like scared. Someone lives in fear constantly and it's really um, done a number on the dynamic and the environment and the relationship 
Libra, all kinds of shit in this reading. Uh, I am curious about this, though. I am curious about this. Uh, I'm going to clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I'm going to use Lynn Rimmon deck for this one. Oh, my cheeks are so hot. <laughs> let's do... Yeah, let's do the limited edition. I don't use that one that often. Tell me the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. For some, the selfish act led to a major loss of money. Like, major. And there's shame around it. There's shame and there's regret around it. Talking about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. For some, someone got conned. This is weird. For some, that's just what it is. Like, someone got conned out of some money. But it affected many people. This feels like a family situation I'm picking up on. So I have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. For February. So I have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh. We've got the letter. News and communication with the Seven of Swords attached to it. So I have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I just heard, I did just your IRS. I did just your IRS. So I have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. Ooh, we've got the clover. Fortunate. That's This is interesting. Fortunate with the six of wands. But it's attached to such a sad loss kind of an energy, like a losing energy. Someone's luck has run out. That's weird. Someone's luck has run out. Let's keep going. So remember the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This feels deceptive. I don't like, I don't, there's, there's a deceptive energy about this. It's almost like someone's like saying, oh, I got good news when in reality they didn't. Almost like I got the promotion, I got the job, but in reality they didn't. You know what I mean? It almost feels like falsified fortune. Thank you. That's what it is. Falsified fortune. I'm talking about Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I'm talking about Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra. For the month of February, Libra, I'm, I've gotten a lot of channelings for you. Keep in mind, they're for different people. So just take what resonates, okay? Time about Ace of Pentacles in reverse for Libra for February. Oh, got the path with the Queen of Pentacles. This is a master number. Um, this is quite literally going in a separate direction or needing to take a new path here needing to take a new path overall we do have communication with the birds oh and look money i know it's weird that the fish is about money but it is about money <laughs> it is about money with the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles both on the board there's definitely a pair involved here um I, this is weird i like libra i just keep getting like like falsified information about money like there's been a lot of talks about money or collaborations or business and then the, at the end of the day someone's not being honest here and they regret the dishonesty and that's coming out that's definitely for some of you it's definitely for some of you um two 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 for some i'm also getting i'm also getting a two path situation here where someone secretly doesn't have love for a situation anymore and they can go off to a situation where they can and there's a choice that needs to be made. I can stay where I'm not in love or I can go where I could possibly be in love. And there's just this person who's just constantly living in fear. Which is why they're not budging. Wow. So Libra, like I said, all kinds of channelings, all kinds of messages for you guys. So please only take what resonates. Um, but there's definitely some money shit going on here for a good chunk of you. Okay. And there's an, a, a knowing of I, I, ju I just need to break away. I just need to break away. But it's hard. There's a heavy emotion about it. Heavy ass emotion about it. Okay. Libras, gems, and aquas. I hope you guys enjoyed this or found it insightful and helpful. Heavy ass messages. I think for all three of you guys, except aqua had a little bit more of like fun element. But I hope you guys found it helpful. Okay. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram. And I will see you guys later. Have a really great month and have a great night. Namaste.